Hello everybody, see you again. Today, I come to make a video at one of the oldest temple. And this area, it was the old city of the Khmer King around 8th century. But now, I'm still not at the temple. I just uh, on the way to that temple. And this temple was in the rural area. So, it's a, a little bit bad road, dusty road on the way, but really nice view with the local houses and also the view of the tree and the forest around, but a little bit dusty when I try on my scooter. All right, so what was the name of the temple? And what the history of that temple? We go and see together. All right, so right now, I am right in the front of the temple after I'm driving on my scooter about 30 minutes. I'm ready here. Okay, so right now, I will bring you in to the temple and see how it's beautiful of this temple. Now, I try to walk on the causeway to go to the temple.
And this is uh, the, the snake head that's still in the front of the temple. This we call Naga or Nagara. That is uh, their god of the snake. But the snake right here is so much different from other snake from at other temple because this snake they made like more are uh, more lower right or they will put the snake on the ground it did not just to stand on the steel like the other snake Okay, so right now I am already inside the temple area. So behind me, there was the wall of the temple that they built around for protection. The temple that I come today, it called Bagol. This temple, it was the first mountain temple that they built it very high with many levels up to the top. This temple was built around, uh, around late 9th century during the years 826 until 881. It was in the Khmer King, Andra Waterman, that he dedicated this temple for Lord Siva from the Hinduism. This temple it was a one of the temple that built at the center of the old king's city. That that city they call Hari Haralaya. At the moment we call this rulers group. When you want to visit this temple, you can come and search on Google rulers group. You might see one of this temple. And right now I will bring you to see what's the inside of this temple okay let's go and now we are getting close to the building or the temple back home. and right here was originally second wall after the first wall they had the moat and then they had the second wall and this is at the main entrance of Bakong Temple that they used for king to come in back to the town. And right there, you would see like a couple of the columns that's still standing there. That was the column of the hall. Originally, they had like a roof on top here and the entrances that used for the king coming in. But now everything here was damaged. Next to that, you would see one of these small buildings that they built in the front of the temple or at the entrance. This were the people they used to pray for the Lord of the Siva that originally they had stem. The symbol of the Siva got inside here. But the top is already broken. It's still the door frame stand right here. Another building right here. They actually had two buildings like this. One was on the right and one was on the left. See it? These two buildings originally were the library that they used to store all the documentary of the Hinduism. And they also had like a rooftop on this building too, but this rooftop already broke. So it just is something inside here or just the stone inside of this building. There's no more document left here. It's really broke. See it? Inside of the library or in the between of the library, you would see one of the platform right here. There's a red ringle side. This platform originally they used to stand on the top of the platform with one of the sacred, sacred animal cows that we call it Nandan, that originally from Hinduism, Siva community. 
but now it's very broke. To the main entrance of the temple, you actually see the square platform right here. Not only one, there are two of them from the both side of the entrance that this they used to stand it on this platform with the statues of the demon and the god on each side. But what did you see, even on the small staircase right here, you will see they decorated under the staircase or the step with many shapes. They are the decoration from lotus flower spring right here. This is where they used to stand it inside of this tower with the Sivalinga that used for the people who got to pray, got to pray here before that. Because of the main building in the middle, they did not use for the local just to pray. They actually just used for the, for the king just to pray on top. All the staircase, even the smaller building or the big building, you actually see these statues. That is the statues of the Lion King. But two of them, one already broke and one is still here. Still more detail of the decoration on this lion, but face a little bit broke. This statue is more than 1,000 years old. The main building of Bako Temple. You could see that. It's a really amazing construction in this temple. By the way, they got to use like all the big pieces of the stone to put them all together without any material connected. It just stuck all together. And any hole in the between, they used to be like in the water drains. And all of these stone, we call sandstone, but they not use the whole sandstone to build this temple. They actually use another material stone, like limestone, to build the whole base of the temple. And this temple they have built by five level up to the top. This is at the first level or the main basic of the temple. We, now we try to go up to the top all together. The step of this staircase, they use like in a whole stone. See that? One piece of the stone to make one step high. Each level, they had the step for going up. But even they use like in a whole one piece of the stone to build the, st the step here, but still steep and narrow. Now we are on the third level. On the fourth level, you would see all of the smaller building on the both side here. Totally, they had 12 of them. Because of most of the people, they strong believe to the animal of year. So this they used to represent to the 12 world of God of years, or the animal of years. At the corner of the, of the building, or the level, you actually see all the animal. Beside of the Lion King, they had been beauted by another sacred animal, elephants but already broke. When we look at this, it looked like in a deer, but originally was 
the elephants. Now, we try to go to the fourth and the fifth level. It's too hot because of this temple there's no rooftop, more open air. Whew. Okay, right now we try to go to the fourth level and then we go to the fifth level, the top level one. Now we're right on the top and they have built one of their tower in the middle of there in the middle of their top level that they used to pray for the god Siva or they represent this to the Siva planet. And this tower has been restored. So that's why you could see some new stone on the dancer right there. But actually this originally stone, not the modern one. But it looked more damaged, but it still looked beautiful. All of the door, three main door, south, west, and north, they made the decoration of the door like this, but they never opened it. It was the fake door. So the door that they can go inside to the temple or to the tower right here is on the east one, on the east, right here. See it? And inside of the central tower, you actually see the hole like this, where they put some sacred thing inside, and then they stuck it, the platform on the top of the ground, and they stand by the Sibalinga. But right now, you could see only the Buddha with many color of the flower right here that were got prey by the local people. But they're very bad that the people, they try to write something on the wall right there. Thank you for watching my video. I will go to make another video from another temple. Please subscribe on my channel and see you in next video. Bye bye.